Okay, welcome to the Transitional Leadership Basic Membership. Now, I want to walk you through just exactly how you find this area and what's there for you to take advantage of. So, the one thing you want to look for, first of all, is you need to find, make sure you have your email address, which is your username, and a password to be able to access this area. You have that if you signed up for the course using your email and paid money, you would have been given a username, which is your email, and a password that you want to continue using. So find that email, use that password, and come to this page to the website, transitionalleadership.org. And then the top right corner, you'll see a word that says login. So what you want to do is you'll, it'll come to this screen, unless you've been in here before, you want to put your email in there and the password and then sign in. Invalid email, it's probably an invalid password is what's happening here. There we go. That's more like it. So that's why you need to have it right. So this is the area that you are going to see once you're in as either a free member or as a basic member, or if you just actually bought a course, you will also have access to the library, but there'll just be nothing in it. So as a basic member, if you go down here, you're going to see these particular products that are down here that you have access to for six months. There's the basic membership resources which we gave those to you during the training, but they will no longer be available after the six months unless you continue on as a member. And you can view that here. I'll come back to that. There's a network forum that you have access to. You can look at that where you can post your questions and people can interact around topics. There's a free video resource area. This is available for those who are free members, but it's also here in your library when you're a basic member and will continue to be there. There's also a video library, which is not available to the free members. And in here, I'm gonna start by going in here. I wanna show you, there's a variety of webinars that have been recorded, various videos that you can look at. And this area will be continually developing as we go along. So you can look at some of these videos that are there. Down here are some of the webinars that we've had. You can go in there and look at these. There's downloadable resources and the opportunity to hear what these people have to say. So let's go back to, go back to your library. You can click, this is your, your account here. And the other thing you can go in here and look at these basic resources, which right now takes you to this area on Google Drive that has all of these resources. So that's there for you. There's also an article archive, whole lot of different articles on different subjects that you can look up if in fact you are doing some research or wanting to learn more about a particular area, come here and look at a whole archive of articles that we've collected over the years. All right, let's go back to the library page. There's the network form. To go in there, you can take a look at it. Here's somebody that made a comment. We were talking about, I think, being COVID sensitive. I'm not sure what the topic was, but this is an area where you can just read some of the comments. This is on transition and change, and so on and so forth. If you have a question, can maybe look under the topics or just kind of look in general at what are people talking about. Okay, go back to my library. And one thing I want to point out is go up to your, your, it would not, you wouldn't necessarily have an image there unless you did it. I want you to click on that and go to settings. A couple things here. This is where you can change your name or if it's spelled wrong, you can fix that. You can put the time zone that you're in there. And I'd really recommend that you tick off 
make sure all three of these boxes are ticked because if you do not tick them off, this will prevent you actually from receiving emails and updates from myself and from others in the network. So I would strongly encourage you to do that. I mean, this is this is here because they don't want people to be spammed, but you're a part of this network. It would be to your advantage to be able to receive information, emails, updates from us as to what's going on with with the latest bit of news and also information learning. This is where you can change your picture. You can put a bio in here if you like. You can change your password here. And this shows your purchase history down here at the bottom. All right, so there's a quick overview of how you both get into the membership area and what's there. And I encourage you to come back here on occasion as we continue adding elements and items to this particular area. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoy your basic membership.